This week, we are talking about probabilistic modeling and some important distributions. Um, the, the distributions we are going to talk about are listed here, and we are going to um, give their definitions, distribution functions, their parameters, and their properties in terms of statistics. Uh, and also, for some of them, we will give uh, which situations can we use them to model what. Okay, let's start with the meaning of probabilistic modeling. Well, uh, this is a, a, a type of mathematical modeling. So we, we should consider two questions here. What does it mean to model? How do we decide on a model? So what does this mean? What does it mean to model? Essentially, we have uh, some either uh, physical properties or uh, physical behaviors of systems, or we have hard data. And from these, we would like to make some predictions, or maybe we would like to infer some properties, or maybe we would like to uh, produce some designs that perform better, or we would like to characterize a system. Of course, as uh, the renowned statistician George Box suggests here, all mathematical models are wrong in the sense that it's practically impossible to mathematically uh, express a physical system in every aspect. Okay, that means all models are going to be wrong in some sense, but some are going to be useful. So the trick here is, what type of models would be useful for what type of situations, okay? And another good example is given by, uh, again, a famous probability, probabilistic uh, researcher, Norbert Wiener says in, in his book, Philosophy of Science, authored with Rosenblut, the best material model of a cat is another or preferably the same cat. So if you would like to see every aspect of a physical system or a, a, a concrete uh, being, okay, you need to use uh, the same type of thing to obtain uh, the, the properties. But of course, it, you are limited uh, to, to the physical uh, limitations of this world. So, we make mathematical models and probabilistic modeling is a type of that. Um, so the key question is here is how do we decide on a model? So here in, in, in this week's lecture, we are going to talk about some predefined important distributions that work well under certain situations in, in some scenarios, uh, certain random variable, certain distribution can be, um, can be uh, used uh, reasonably uh, to obtain some insight to the system. But the key thing we will, we will have to remember is this, mathematical models are not reality and, and nor are probability distribution. So what we are going to, what we are going to talk about uh, lives in mathematical world, not in the real world, okay? Um, so, Mathematical objects, they are separated from physical reality. Okay, we have to understand that. So we have to know what we are doing. This course is not a statistics course. It's a probability theory course. In this course, we learn how to manipulate probabilistic objects, which are mathematical objects, uh, in order to gain insight uh, to, to the mechanism of a certain given physical system. It is impossible to uh, model a system in all aspects, okay? So we, we will have to be aware of uh, what stuff we are uh, abstracting, what stuff we are ignoring, what stuff we are assuming, okay? That's the key point here, okay? So, so this person is another uh, researcher uh, working on uh, economics and uh, ergodicity in general. Um, and the, the point he makes is an important one. So empirical distributions and analytical distributions. So empirical distribution is what you get from 
a set of data. Okay, if you have a set of data, you can actually, um, let's say, define a distribution based on the data, um, but it will not have very nice analytical properties. It will be difficult to work with, okay? It will be real, but it will be very difficult to manipulate. On the other hand, if you choose an analytical distribution to model it, okay, then you will have a certain kind of error. Um, you should be aware of what type of error that is, and you should be aware of what size of an error you are making, okay? So you have to understand analytical distributions live in model land, okay? Uh, that's abstract, but empirical distributions are collected from reality, quite different. But that is re uh, related to statistics, which we do not really do in this course.